Time to play with some clay. Now, I've had several people ask me, uh, how do I purchase uh, your DVDs, your instructional DVDs, and I, I point them out to the uh, link below my videos as a link to a review of each of the nine DVDs, and, uh, and uh, this video that you're going to see right now is just a short one before I get started on uh, my figure here. I'm going to start adding clay. I'm not going to show everything I'm going to do because uh, you have to buy a DVD to find out how to build up the muscles and everything like that. Uh, but I'm just going to show brief uh, snippets of me working on the figure, getting it to the point where I can start uh, putting clothes on it. But anyway, uh, this is a short video on how to purchase my DVDs and I go through the whole process and then I'll come back and show you what I'm doing. All right, bye. Let's go to the computer now and I'll show you. First you go to my website uh, where I have all my nine instructional DVDs offered to you for sale and uh, listed and uh, a short review of each uh, DVD. It opens up onto this page, Clay to Bronze, and, uh, and you'll see a review of all my uh, current nine uh, instructional DVDs uh, listed here, uh, and each one is uh, linked to a YouTube review video of uh, the items are the uh, subject on each one of the uh, DVDs and uh, you pick out the one you want or the ones you want uh, you can pick uh, more than one or all of them but anyway then you go over to the upper part of the uh, right column and there you'll find this drop down menu where you purchase my instructional DVDs and you just uh, click on a little arrow right here and that drops down a menu and it shows you the listing of all available uh, DVDs I currently have available for you to purchase purchase uh, more than one um, that's fine if you want to purchase this one uh, uh, DVD or a set of DVDs uh, that's fine too uh, there's a there's also available the ability to purchase all of uh, the selected nine uh, DVDs and uh, in one package and you can save uh, over a hundred dollars in that purchase. So using the drop down menu you go down until you find one that you want for instance for instance creating a horse's head in clay you click on it and then you click on add to cart when you click on the uh, Add to Cart, a page will come up uh, linked to PayPal, your PayPal account. You just uh, make your purchase. If you want to add another one to your cart, you just uh, go down and, uh, for instance, uh, a full figure of a mountain man. Uh, click on that. Add that to your cart. Then it comes up uh, on your PayPal page again. And so now you got two DVDs and uh, with the total and everything that you pay to uh, PayPal, of course. All right. I hope that's helpful. I hope uh, you got something from this, and uh, I hope I've uh, perked up your interest in sculpting. It's a wonderful uh, career. It's a wonderful hobby. Uh, you can make into a career. And... Uh, it, it, the, the world opens up to you when you when you can sculpt and eventually at, you'll figure out ways of sculpting better every day every time you sculpt something you'll learn something from the last one you did and that's I still learn I'm doing this for geez over 50 years and I'm still learning 
I'm still doing things for the first time. So you, you just have to have patience and uh, know that uh, eventually all this is going to work out fine. All right, I hope that's helpful to you. Uh, I made that uh, back when I was living in my other house. That's why the uh, old better the uh, there you are. Anyway, I'm just putting the clay on the uh, armature. I'm not going to do any major muscles, uh, except maybe in the arms where the uh, clothing might uh, expose his arms. But basically, he's going to be covered in a robe and in all kinds of stuff that uh, will hide the major anatomy. And all I'm going to do is basically block in his anatomy. Um, and that's including putting clay between two legs because his legs will be exposed from about there down. So I will have to sculpt the uh, bottom part of the legs, but uh, the upper part I'll just uh, form and shape. Uh, and then, uh, of course, the head is going to be uh, worked on separately from the uh, figure so that I can work out the uh, face, the face that I'm going to be doing. The beauty of uh, these uh, true form armatures is uh, the fact that all the uh, proportions have been worked out for you and it saves you tons of time in uh, working those things out. As I said yesterday's video, in yesterday's video, you can buy these two form armatures from uh, Sculpture Depot, and they're very handy for people who are just starting to sculpt, and especially if they're doing human beings or whatever they choose to do. Um, the uh, key is to get everything solid so that uh, it's not shifting around on you and that, that means tightening the bolts here on here at the top and bottom of the uh, or bot top and the bottom of the uh, uh, main support here and that keeps it from going sideways when you're working on it and then uh, this uh, the bolts here and here will keep it uh, the armature at the right position and won't be moving. And this one here, I think they've got a new uh, lever uh, that uh, tightens up this angle. And you can put the angle at anything that you want. Um, but you got to just make sure that everything's tight before you start. And that's including the uh, bolt that holds the uh, figure onto the armature. You don't want the thing moving around on you while you're working on it. Now Jesus was a carpenter. Well, they say he was a carpenter, but there's also evidence now that he may have been more of a stone uh, mason than he was uh, a carpenter. And there's new evidence being found in Israel to lay claim to that. And it would mean that he would have a fairly trim, muscular body because of the uh, work with uh, chisels or even with wood if he did, you know, a lot of carpentry. And... Uh, So you just have to keep those things in mind when you're working on a figure like this. Another nice thing about these armatures is uh, if you've got the money to buy it and you still want to make your own armatures, it's nice to have an armature like this uh, so that you can take uh, your proportions 
off of the armature itself and transfer it to the armature you make. Just saying. I've had people ask me what happens to the uh, armature. Uh, this part here, uh, when you take it to the foundry to be cast in bronze, and uh, it doesn't come into play at all in the mold making. It's just, they make a mold around it. This will come out in a, they'll actually have a, this cast in, in wax from the mold. And what they do is just in the wax stage of the uh, figure, they just cut that part off and just fill in uh, the area that uh, was left after they cut it off. You have artists working in foundries, and they're sculptors themselves, some of them. Not all of them, but some of them. And so they understand uh, something about the process of uh, sculpting. But I've never had a problem with my armature being in the way. Okay, I got them. The upper part of the body pretty well blocked in as far as the uh, starting of it. Um, I've got the legs started, and uh, I'm not going to put a lot of detail in them. I'm going to make sure the musculature is there because the leg that uh, is protruding out like this one here uh, will have more mu of the muscles showing through the cloth than uh, this leg will. So I've got to work on the uh, muscles a little bit, but I'm running out of soft clay right now. And as you can see, I've filled in between the legs. It's better to do it now before I put the clothing on because it's hard to get up inside there to uh, fill in after you put the clothing on. So it's just, it, it's just a way of filling in so that uh, when they get ready to make a mold of it, if they make a mold of it, if I ever get this to uh, bronze, it depends on whether anybody wants to buy one or not. But, uh, and I already got a call last night from somebody who uh, wants to put it on the list for it, but uh, we'll see how that works out. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys uh, next time. Good night. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.